Hello, 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 and welcome to my first brew day with the Brutals B150. Very exciting. So yes, over the last eight months or so, um, the brew shed has gone through a hefty refurbishment and upgrade. Um, so literally everything was stripped out of here. Um, the walls have been repainted, we've had some bits of wood being replaced, and you know, just a few different odds and sods just to turn this more from a like a hobby brew shed into more of a clinical commercial brew shed I suppose. It's still a shed at the end of the day but you know it's just a bit more focused I'd say is probably the word. Um, so yes gone through the refurbishment of the brew shed and also obviously I've upgraded my equipment. Hello. Um, so yes I've gone from my 40 litre hot cat um, to the brew tools B150. Um, so yes I managed to get that through a business grant um, between Watford Borough Council and the University of Hertfordshire. It was very interesting actually. Um, it was about, I think it started in November and ended, ended in about March time. Um, so yeah, a good, a good little course. Went to a few lectures um, online and, and in person and a few like open days. It was, it was actually very, very interesting um, and very useful. Um, so it's nice to actually use the equipment I managed to purchase through it. It's taken me a long time to acquire all the other little bits and bobs. Um, being you know, a Norwegian based company, um, there's only one importer um, of the items I acquire from in the UK and that's the Malt Miller. Um, great service from them. And um, yes, over the past sort of few months I've been waiting for you know one or two of the components to come in stock and um, you know just sort of getting my head around how the machine works what I need from it and sort of where to go from there so it's been a bit longer than I'd hoped but we're finally there and it's brew day today so what am I brewing I am brewing something simple <laughs> which is probably the best way to go on a new system so it's going to be like a, a light bitter sort of thing um, doing a hundred litre batch so not pushing it to its full 150 litre capability. Uh, so yeah, just, just 100 litres. Um, I use the um, pre-boil function, delayed start function on the brew tool. So um, the device switched on at about eight o'clock in the morning and sort of by the time I was ready to just get down and brew, it was all heated up to temperature. Um, transferred my sparge water from that into the hot cap, which is now my HLT, um, that's about 50 litre to brim, so should be enough for um, for sparging, um, even on the full brew. I might just have to, you know, only sparge 50 litres and perhaps have more mashed water than I would, but that's, that's, that, that's that anyway. So uh, yes, yes, 85 litres in the brew tools and uh, about 45, 40 litres in the um, hot cap. I've weighed out some of the grain, and so I can only fit 13 kilograms of, of grain into the old 25 litre plastic fermentation buckets. Um, the recipe calls for 18.8 .8 kilograms of Maris Otter, uh, 1.4 kilograms of crystal malt. Um, then the start of the boil, it will be 160 grams of Fuggles, that's my homegrown Fuggles and 100 grams of East Kent Goldings, I think. And then the last 10 minutes, um, I haven't made my mind up yet. It'll either be East Kent Goldings, Onokana, Jester, or First Gold. I'm leaning towards First Gold, but I might just have a look through the hot fridge and see what, I, uh, what I've got. But um, yeah, so very simple. Not too much hops for um, a, such a big machine. What's that? What, 200, 360 grams of hops? 400 in? 
So yeah, not a huge amount. Um, and then yes, SO4 to ferment with, chuck it in one of these, and see how it goes. Fingers crossed it'll be a good brew day. Um, so yes, I'm pretty much ready to start going. Got the first amount of malt ready. I got my important cup of tea, which is a big old cup as well. Finally, I can use my big spanking paddle. I mean, sorry, uh, my mashing paddle, brewer's paddle. Um, I've had this for years, but it was just too big for my uh, original system. So uh, it's now nice that I can use it for the, the new brewer because it's just about the right size for a B150. Um, so yes, let's get on with it. Yes. It's very awkward with uh, one hand, but uh, also holding onto the camera. But yes, just uh, stirring in the first 13 kilograms um, of Marisotta, and then I'll, once this is done and I've got rid of the dough balls, I'll add the, uh, the next lot uh, of malt. So we've stirred in all of the malt and uh, just started the circulation going. So we've got a 90 minute mash at 68 degrees Celsius. And we're just coming up to the end of the 19 minute match. As you can see, we've got a nice clear looking wort now. So we've reached the end of the mash. Down comes the winch to lift the grain basket up. So the winch lift is complete and we're now just resting on the um, brutal legs there. As you see, we're just draining the work into the brewing vessel. The sparge water is connected up. So once we've drained we will um, start sparging. And we're sparging away there. We're trying to reach 116 litres so only another metre or so to go. So we're just coming up to the boil. I've emptied the malt bucket and the malt will go to the animals at work. And just fitting the turbinator there, uh, which is sort of like a filter thing. And so we're just reaching the start of the boil. Probably can't see a huge amount, but we are reaching the start of the boil there. And there are the hops ready to go in. 160 grams of Fuggles, 160 grams of East Kent Golding. And I've decided to put 100 grams of Olicana in at the last 10 minute addition. And that's the hops in there. And the first hop addition has been added. Last 10 minutes of the boil, in goes 100 grams of Olicana. Last five minutes off the boil, in go two protoflock tablets. After a little trouble with the plate chiller blocking up pretty much instantly, um, we are now recirculating the wort um, through the plate chiller and not doing a very good whirlpool, but yeah, recirculating and cooling at the moment, getting there slowly but surely. It's actually going down quite quickly, now that it's actually working. The, uh, the flow rate isn't very fast, even though the pump's on 100%. So it's pretty obvious there's a blockage somewhere, but um, at least it's still running. So just taking the hydrometer reading, and it's showing at 1.048. Uh, the target was 1.047, so uh, yes, very good going. Lovely colour as well. So still transferring to the fermenter. Um, I thought I would add the first of three packets of yeast. Uh,
just the SO4 which I quite like. So yes, three of them in there. Um, they recommend it can do between 20 and 30 litres, so 100 litres is, well, perhaps I'll do four. <laughs> And utilising a rather useful draining hole in the bottom. So that is the end of brew day, and I have a well deserved pint. Uh, this is uh, Rebellion Quantum, uh, their monthly special. So yes, uh, 1.048 on the hydrometer and collected pretty much exactly 100 litres of wort, um, which is good. I uh, did four packets of SO4, pretty much all tidied up now. Um, the drainage hole is useful. One thing I should have known better about was to use whole cone leaf hops loosely. Um, so yes, they really did block up the pump and the drainage hole quite severely. So um, I should have known better, but it's been a long time since I brewed, <laughs> to be fair. So um, yes, in next time I use whole cone hops, I'll probably either use some sort of hop spider or put them in a bag or something. Pellets are probably fine, but um, yeah, the whole cones just, just blocked everything up. Might have to dismantle the pump tomorrow. Um, just to see if there's any debris left inside it. Um, it's not running particularly well at the moment, so probably is. So um, that's going to be fun. Um, thank goodness I've got the winch to lift it up. Um, but yeah, all tidied, all the way in the fermenter. And I'm going to enjoy the rest of this pint. So yes, that's the, uh, the first brew day. Next one probably going to be the old London Porter. Um, because that's well, one of my best bits I do. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.